This is Lenny Boyer, the lawyer, live coming to you from Clifton, New Jersey. If you'll remember, I'm the attorney that always takes a coffee break and gets caffeinated. So that's so now I have enough caffeine in me to talk to you about Chapter 13 bankruptcy and the bankruptcy court's mortgage modification program. And I'm going to separate fact from fiction for you. First fact that you have to be aware of is not all foreclosures are subject to the federal government's moratorium on foreclosures. If your mortgage is backed by a federal government agency, which means HUD, Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, or the Department of Agriculture for Family Farmers, then your mortgage can't be foreclosed on as of this point until March 31st, 2021. But if you have a, your mortgage is through a bank that is not backed by the federal government or is not a bank at all, but a private lender or individual or a hard money lender, there is no ban and nothing is precluding them from foreclosing on you. Also, tax lien foreclosures can still proceed, but the bankruptcy code and chapter 13 is there to help you. You see, when you file a chapter 13 bankruptcy, otherwise known as a wage earners plan, under section 362 of the United States Bankruptcy Code, which is commonly referred to as the automatic stay provision, the, nobody can sue you or take any of your property unless they file a motion to get the stay lifted because federal court always takes priority over state court unless the federal court allows the state court action to proceed, it's halted. Now, what is Chapter 13 bankruptcy and why does it matter to you? Chapter 13 bankruptcy is commonly referred to as the wage earners plan. People who have, who are married couples who have more than 50,000 or more in equity in, in a home or an individual that has greater than $25,000 cannot just get their debts wiped out in a chapter seven. They would have to file for chapter 13 bankruptcy. Now in a chapter 13 bankruptcy, depending upon how much equity is in your home, you will either pay your creditors a small percentage all the way up to a full percentage of the amount of debt that you owe. But the interest rate on that debt stops as of the date of the filing of your bankruptcy. And it you have up to five years to pay it through a chapter 13 plan. The only debt that continues to accumulate interest is your home mortgage loan. Now, if your mortgage is not current, chapter 13 and the bankruptcy court's mortgage modification program are your best friend. The reason they're your best friend is because you can accomplish things in a chapter 13 bankruptcy through the mortgage modification program that you can't do anywhere else. Now, let me explain in detail what that is and what that means for you. If you try to get a mortgage modification on your own, you've seen how often the lender loses your paperwork conveniently or otherwise you've probably submitted the same application and same information multiple times only to find something's missing or something's lost or you can't even get through. In, in bankruptcy court, we're not submitting things through the mail. We have to file, once you file your bankruptcy through the, with the court, you're filing a petition and a plan. The chapter 13 plan tells the court, the trustee, who's the standing chapter 13 trustee, and the court, as well as your creditors, how they're going to be paid back. Now, after you file, a motion is made to seek 
to have you admitted to the bankruptcy court's mortgage modification program. Now the mortgage modification program will help the average person, but it can't work miracles. If you have a significant amount of debt on your mortgage, your principal and interest have reached such a point that you have no realistic expectation of being able to pay that, and it's not likely to change in the immediate future, it's not going to help you. This is for people who need to have a regular payment that they can afford that's not out of proportion to what their income is. I'll explain more about that in another video. But for purposes of this video, what you have to understand is the Chapter 13 Mortgage Modification Program is where you submit a series of documents that your lender requires. And it's submitted electronically through the bankruptcy court's mortgage modification portal. That means it's time stamped. The lender can't play games and deny receiving it. What I often tell my clients to do is provide the information to me and I will review it before they sign the final version. I also ask my clients to provide a hardship letter which can range anywhere from as little as two to as many as 10 pages and any documents to support that hardship that are applicable. So for example, if you've had medical bills due to COVID-19 or something else, I, I will request copies of those bills so we can furnish that and make that a part of your mortgage loan modification application. Now, everything is scanned in through the portal and the court and the creditors are and the and the creditors are aware that this is time stamped so they can't deny receiving it now if you're approved for a trial modification and there is no guarantee that you'll be approved but if you are typically you'll be making 3 to 6 trial payments before you receive a permanent mortgage modification program now, typically the permanent mortgage modification is for 40 years and your monthly payment will be at prevailing rates, whatever they are at that time. So despite the mortgage rates you may hear advertised in the newspapers, that does not have anything to do with the rate that you will be paying. However, you're likely to get a much better rate than what you have now. And your payments will be stretched out over, up, over 40 years. Any mortgage arrears will go on the back end of the loan. This is very different from a forbearance, which was discussed in the prior video. Now, after you've gotten your permanent modification, absent circumstances that require you to stay in bankruptcy, we would make a motion to exit the bankruptcy program. And once you're out of the bankruptcy program, not only will you be free and clear of the restrictions of the program, but you will have been able to save your house, get a much better payment on the mortgage that you can handle more so than what you had previously. However, bear in mind that contrary to what some people may tell you, the principal balance of your mortgage loan is not, I repeat, the principal balance of your mortgage loan is not likely to be decreased. Can it happen? Yes. Should you expect it to happen? Absolutely not. I tell all my clients that if it does happen and you get a loan modification and the principal is reduced, treat it as a gift. Don't expect it. In our next video, we'll cover another subject that most people are not aware that bankruptcy can help them. That's, that's called easy pass fines and penalties. So keep, so keep looking for that video because it'll be on in about a week. And in the meantime, if you like this video, leave me a comment 
and subscribe to this channel so you're notified each time Lenny the Lawyer comes up, comes on live to tell you about the latest developments in the law. Thank you.